afternoon and welcome to the vlog. It is a shitty day in PA, par for the course lately. It snowed last night. Shit you not, it snowed last night. I get it, you know, I live in PA. He's got his light bar on because he needs to see. I live in PA, so I signed myself up for three months of shit weather. I get that, you know, that's part of the deal. But I did not sign up for snow in April. That is just not fair. And it pisses me off. So, with that in mind, I am not driving my McLaren or my ZR1. I am driving the Dirty Max, which we haven't driven in a long time on the channel. Not that I care about driving. We got a school zone coming up. We got to slow right down. Not that I care about driving my cars in bad weather, as you guys know. Uh, but I just figured, you know, I would take the uh, take the truck today. This is one of those situations where I go really slow. The speed limit in a school zone is 15 during school hours. Uh, and I usually go, I mean, 15 or 10, and a lot of times people, like, want to go 30 or 40. Right there is why you don't speed. I mean, number one, you should care about the safety of children. But also, you will get pulled over. The safety of children, not as a joke, because that I take seriously. You know, I'll do a buck 20, 30, 40 on the highway when the conditions are right, when it's clear, when I can see, when there's no other cars around. That's not dangerous. But I'm the guy who goes like 20 in neighborhoods and like you know I really pay attention because that's where people are actually in danger. In my opinion I'm sure people will disagree. Being said it is an exciting day. We are fogging up now probably because I'm screaming. It is an exciting day because we are going to Inshane Designs to reveal not only the new project truck that he has acquired but we're also going to go over the c7 corvette giveaway which starts today right now rather than film some shots from the drive over there here are some shots that i took yesterday when we were driving around getting some poster ideas for the zr1 and the teal bed <laughs> Here in the Dirty Max and check out Shane's new truck, another GM. Now this is a Hummer H3T, T for truck. Many of you may or may not know that Shane had a, oh, it's fucking Pat. You better go back inside, Pat. Shane had a Ford Ranger for the longest time. Since I first met Shane, like two years ago, he had a Ford Ranger and he liked it, but you know, he wanted something different. So he started looking at Colorados. What's up, Pat? going over the h3 what dude i went to the gym shane was talking about getting a new colorado zr2 which i was all about i was like shane please get a new zr2 they're so sick but they're like 40 grand and uh he didn't want to spend that much money so he started looking at older colorados and then he got into the older hummer h3s and if you don't know the h3 is a colorado underneath same thing as the h2 was a it's over there uh, the H2 was a 2500 underneath with some changes. Uh, but this is the Colorado underneath and they built the Hummer around it. Two engine choices with these. You had the option of getting the five banger and the V8, hence uh, the Alpha. All the Alphas were V8s. And I think it says Alpha on the steering wheel there. And I told Shane, I was like, dude, you have to, if you're gonna get it, you gotta get the V8. And he did, so he has a V8 Hummer H3, which is pretty cool. And the cool thing about the Alphas is they are going up in value and the truck one i think is a little bit more rare than the suv one i think it's pretty neat he's got a plan he wants to lift it he wants to put big tires on it i told him don't go don't go too crazy just go with like a, an aggressive 33 um but yeah a fun little project look good man turned out really good so this is uh one of the options here one of the options all right more Ooh. wider more wider angle you know i think those are so good because your driver when you were taking these was just a really good driver and provided a good platform oh, for you to shoot from. Course. Right. Super comfortable ride. Which I don't know who it was, but. And Ooh. we move on to the ZR1. Ooh. That's kind nice. of a nice. Nice. shot. Oh, yeah. That's the money shot right there, it's dude. Rear booty. I actually like this one too a lot. I like that one. But this one's sweet. Uh, there's, you got to get me out of there. I look fucking retarded. I know. I, I, these were just... Oh, I know, he said. <laughs> I removed the inspection stickers and stuff, but I can, like, tint the window. So in the final version, the stickers are gone yeah, and I'm gone. Yeah, stickers are gone on all the shots. Good. And Dude, they look awesome. This shot's awesome, I think. Yeah, I like that. I like Because you can see the ZR1. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, you can see it on that one, too. Yeah, I did this one just because, remember, that, that camo? That yeah, people did people like really that shot. Like that, so I just tried it. 
Um, his favorite seal one though is. And I like how wide this one is. You know, it's from nice far yeah. away. But this but that one, one I yeah, I, I think that might be my favorite, too. The background's pretty sweet. And this one looks more teal than that looks blue. It's yeah. a hard color to capture. You it know is. That. <laughs> I told him out there. I was like, Shane's going to do all this shit to it. Look at that there. Oh, I see it. No, not that one. All right, you want to see something pretty bad? I'm telling you, all you need is some little 33s with, like, a nice negative 44 offset. Oh, man. So this is the Jeep, Jeep truck, uh -huh. which is like a conversion where they take the yeah. bed and they add that nice little angle. Like I love that angle accent. It's freaking fire. Now, Shane, I regret to now, inform you, you don't own one of those. You own I know, but I'm going off that tire, like, okay, because they sort of resemble each other, right? This is yeah. a little bit longer. Whoop de freaking do. <laughs> but I want that. I don't know. I'm trying to think about shaving, like seeing what we can do with those flares. Maybe taking them off. But whenever we uh, research taking them off, it's like, dude, it's not pretty. It's like all frame. So there's no, they're, really... built, they're built into the car. Yeah, it's not like yeah, they're not like truck fender flares. They're they're part of the body. I wanted to be able to put like smaller flares on it, but in order to button that up, make it look nice, we have to be, make a shield for it to like block all that ugliness. Which I mean, I'm not saying it can't be done. It can be done, but if you shit, if you do all that work. Oh. What's he doing under Shane. there? Hey, Shane. It's 2018, Shane. dude. <laughs> don't ever say he if you don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, she We're eliminating that. Get the fuck out of here with your bullshit, dude, for once. This is June, Chandler's dog. A new shop dog. No, it's not shop dog. Yeah, we're, we're adopting her, dude. Look how cute that is. That is pretty cute. Wow. All right, so Shane is struggling here trying to decide between a 22 by 14 on a roughly 35 inch tall tire. No, it'd be 33. Which is gonna have to be wide. Stretched. But I'm trying to get Shane to go with the sensible 20 by 12, negative 44, and not a 22 by 14, negative 76. Is that what this one But is? he wants the stance. I'm sure that's what that is. Yeah, it's a 22 by 14 fuel, so it's a negative 76 offset. Mm-hmm. So, in the comments, tell Shane whether he should go super crazy. I mean, just so Shane understands, that is the setup on my truck, a 22 by 14. You go with the 14 wide and the 22 or a 20 by 12. I think 20 by 12, or keep 20 the sidewall there. Keep the sidewall, that's gonna ride like poop. I need to see how far these 20 by 12 stick out. They're gonna stick out far enough. I want to see something aggressive. I like this, dude. It does look good, I'm not gonna All lie. Right, it looks look, good. Bro. Yeah, the truck, truck for version. It. it looks great. That is, that is nasty. Oh my God, I don't know, man. Might, All right, then do it. Might have to sleep on this one. Well, he's telling you what his tires are, so it's a 325.50. We don't have everything in, we're just gonna consistently add Update. You know, more stuff as it comes in, which we're waiting on stuff to be manufactured. So today is the day we are making the big announcement regarding that car right over there. The giveaway starts today. We have all kinds of products already live on the website, including these new posters that you saw we took. Well, that was footage from Yesterday. the other day. But uh, we got all kinds of stuff on the website. We got posters, we got shirts, everything in stock over there ready to ship. And Shane, you wanna talk about updating stuff? Yeah, we, we don't have everything on. up on the website, which I'm sorry, it takes a lot of time. Um, but we're gonna get, we're gonna continuously add newer products as they come in. So we're waiting on a few things to come in for manufacturing. Um, one of them is the, the custom camo yep. hoodies, which I think we're gonna switch to uh, tank tops now since summer's coming around the corner. Nobody's gonna wanna buy a hoodie whenever April's, we're in April already. We're running it till, uh, what was the date we chose, May? Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna run it to May 10th, May 10th. right? May 10th, yep. So it's, it's launched until May 10th. Yep. All the stuff you see, all the stuff that we are going to add is only like this own it'll only be available during this launch right so you won't ever be able to get it once it all sells out so and especially after the giveaway it is all it is done you won't be able to get it anymore so get it while it's hot like i said we'll keep adding newer stuff as it comes in so we're not going to put it up there without having it so then you guys are stuck waiting on orders. Basically, we wanna keep things fresh as the giveaway goes on. So we are going to be, like Shane said, updating things. Like every couple of weeks, we'll put up some new products. And we only have, the reason why we're doing it this way is because only 
the only stuff that we have on the website is stuff that we have in stock ready to go right now. So when you order it, it will ship out literally either that day or the next day. No more waiting on products. And the first giveaway we did with the C5 was very successful. People loved it. The guy got his car, he has the C5. It's currently being pro-charged right now at RPM. I did offer one free mod on that giveaway car and he chose a pro charger, which I don't blame him. I would have done the same thing. And then Shane is going to wrap it. Right, still <laughs> waiting for it to come back. Yeah, again. so that car is at RPM, but yeah, the guy was very happy about it. He's very excited. He did all the paperwork. The car is his. And for the next one. Everything's done. We made a yep. mistake of doing a car that wasn't even done and we'll never do it again. Right. This one's done, it's ready to go. Whoever freaking wins is getting the keys and it's going out the door. Like, yeah, so this one, unfortunately, no free mod or anything. You still get no a GoPro. You get a free GoPro yeah, Hero 6 though. Exactly. You still get that. No wrap. But it no, yeah, wrapped. it's wrapped already. Everything's ready to go. So when you win, you can come pick it up the day that you're announced as far as we're concerned. And uh, somebody, a subscriber, is going to be driving away in this new Corvette pretty soon. Right, why don't we go over and show, you know, just go over everything that was upgraded on it. All right. Um, we have here 2018 Stingray platform, upgraded the wheels. Uh, we did a wide body conversion, which is from ACS. The full stage three arrow kit that the Stingray has, um, which comes with this, these winglets. They're smaller than the Z06. Um, has the rear diffusers. Uh, we upgraded the wheels. They're Ferrata FR2s or FR3s, I can't remember. But it has the gloss black lip, satin uh, black face. Still on the 2019 factory setup. These are actually the tires that came off of the factory wheels. I think we went with 20% yeah, tint. tint. Um, we upgraded, we actually installed these. The painted uh, splash so guards. The painted, yeah. Splash guards with the uh, stage three arrow. Blacked out emblems everywhere. Yeah, oh, and then the upgraded uh, vents in the rear. The fender vents, yep. Yeah. Rear Up here. Right here. So there you go. Definitely a really cool car to win. And the rules are all the same. Like we said, exactly the same as the last giveaway. Anything you get on the website automatically enters you for a chance to be the next owner of this car. With that being said, definitely check out the website in ShaneDesigns.com. Pick yourself up something cool and uh, good luck. This was a kind of a Duramax upload, you could say. I wanted to show you guys the next mod for the truck. It is right there in the box. Made in the USA. And those are the custom RCV axles for the truck that I was supposed to get a while ago and they had to be custom made. And uh, well, I just got them in like two days ago. This will be installed on the truck soon. And that is really the final part of the Duramax build that I did recently. Upgrading to a 10 inch lift, going to 22 by 14s, uh, you know, doing a whole bunch of different shit to the truck. And on a different note, since we are talking about Corvettes, I figured today would be a good day just to kind of talk about since, you know, I didn't have too much other exciting shit going on. Figured I would talk about the price list and options list of the ZR1, which I was gonna make a dedicated video about it, but I feel like that's just, you don't need a whole video just to talk about the options. So basically, uh, 2019 ZR1 Coupe, starts at $119,000. The convertible starts at 121, I believe. Um, and that is, you don't really have to spend that much to get a ZR1. Essentially, you only have to spend 120. You don't have to get too many options on it. But the way this car sits, uh, this is roughly a $142,000 car. Now, the only way to make this car more expensive would be to go with the ZTK package. That gives you the more aggressive aero in the in the front sides. Well, I don't maybe the sides might be the same, uh, but in the front and then the big wing. That would be the only way to make this car more expensive. Of course, you could also do the convertible, which would then make it even more money. Uh, but as it sits, that's the only way you could make it more. So the Sebring Orange release package, which again, you guys know I love, that gives you the color, um, but you can get orange on a ZR1 without doing the Sebring Orange package, but the package gives you the orange calipers, which is a really cool touch, the orange accents on the arrow, the orange stitching, and the rose gold that you can't see because of the lighting of shit, but the rose gold on the steering wheel, the center stack and the back of the seats. You can't get the orange accents. So if you notice the Z06 in Shane's shop has red accents. And I wanted to get the whole package because I think um, you know having the matching accents works really well with the car and is what you want. You know, I wouldn't want this car with any other caliper color except for black. So I guess if you got a, a ZR1 without the Sebring orange package, I would get black calipers and then uh, you know you can't get the orange stitching inside. 
uh, you can only get that with the Sebring package. So it gives you a lot of nice stuff, and I think it makes the car really cool. It ties everything together. You know, the fact that it does have the orange stitching. I would love that for the McLaren. I don't have it. It's all black. Uh, the rose gold accents, and, uh, you know, that I, I just think it works really well. The manual transmission was actually a no-cost option, so the auto would be extra. Unfortunately, you have the gas guzzler tax and destination charge. All in all, again, the car, I think the MSRP was 142 Second ZR1 that I have coming in next month is this pretty much same build, except for a few different things in the ZTK package. I think that one will be a little bit more expensive. I guess the big question then is, do I think the car is worth it for 142 And that's a tough one because a lot of people point to something like this and they say, oh, you know, that's like twice the price. Well, not really. You can get a 570 new for 180, you know, a lower spec 570 for about 180. And this is about 140. So those two cars aren't too far apart. So you really have to kind of compare them even though they are not competitors. This is a track machine. I mean, this car will destroy a 570 on a track. I think uh, they both ran it like the car and driver lightning lap. And I think the ZR1 beat the 570 by 10 seconds. So they're not really direct competitors. And I don't think you would really cross shop a Corvette ZR1 or a 570. Like if you're if you're in the market for a car like this, you might not want a car like this. Now me, I'm out of my mind. So I like them both. I love them both. I bought them both. But the average person would either want maybe a McLaren or like a Lambo or this. Uh, but I have to say, I think for everything you get, it's a little pricey. But I would say as a car, it is it's worth it. You know, it's you get a ton of car for the money. It competes with stuff way out of its price range. And it's a really, really nice car. You get great material quality. The interior, I think the interior of this is cooler and better than that, I do. Um, you know, I like the overall driving experience of this a little bit more. I like the visibility and the driving position more. I like some things about this more, but I think the interior of this is better. I like the sound of it. The sound of this is, that's gotta be worth like 10 grand on its own. I don't mean to always compare with the McLaren because they are different, but it's just, it's what's in front of me. So naturally I just kinda, you know, go with the pros and cons of one thing versus the other. Yeah, you know, 140 grand, I think for what you get, it's pretty fair. That being said, I hope that you enjoyed this upload. The giveaway is now live. Check out InShaneDesigns.com. If you did enjoy, give it a big thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care, have a great day.